How's it going everybody? Matt here with uh, this week's ver er, edition of Random Mask Monday. Now I know this is a little bit of a late post, um, but with Christmas and everything going on, um, orders have been hectic. Um, I've actually just, I just shipped out four today and I plan on shipping about four tomorrow. Um, so I've just been super busy with that, but as always, you know, I will bring you guys these videos uh, every single Monday of every single week. And so let's get right into this week's. This week we have my Joel Silva uh, J. Weinberg mask. Um, he was actually one of the first guys to sculpt an accurate version of this, which of course this is his first version. He has two now. Um, so yeah, Joel Silva on Facebook. As far as I know, he doesn't have like a mask page or anything. I think he just kind of does this as like a, like a hobby. Um, but definitely check him out, you know. Why wouldn't you? I mean, these things are great. Uh, I actually love this mask so much. Um, it's very comfortable. It's incredibly accurate. Uh, the zipper, of course, has been, you know, painted to look all worn and rusted and things like that. Um, and I will actually be wearing this one of the days of uh, Carolina Rebellion next year, which, of course, that was uh, one of my previous videos. If you haven't watched that, definitely go check it out. It's a little long, but, you know, it's worth it because you get to see a bunch of cool masks and I talk about music, so sure. <laughs> but, yeah, I got the, uh, of course, got the rivets up here that have been painted to look rusted uh, onto the leather strap. You've got the patch like his did with the little faded nonogram inside of it. Um, this one was a later variation, of course, as you can tell with the added face paint and the worn, worn down burlap. But you have the leather on either side with the rivets um, still, of course, painted to look rusted. Um, I may actually end up doing some work to this mask to weather it more. Uh, like his current mask, I may actually take this paint off and rust these for real. Um, and do the zipper the same way. But I haven't really decided yet. But yeah, I kind of get you guys a good look. Of course, the mask itself is attached um, to with two really nice elastic straps to keep it on the head. Um, makes it incredibly easy to slip on and slip off. Uh, it is a little tight, but of course, you know, that's kind of what happens when you use elastic. But it's accurate, it's, you know, it's quick, it's easy. Slip your hair in and you're ready to go. But yeah, this video is going to be a little bit shorter uh, today as it is just a very basic mask. There's not a lot going on. Um, and of course, there's not really a whole lot going on outside of this stuff. Um, if you haven't, uh, I am holding a Slipknot mask raffle on my Instagram, which of course will be linked in the description below. Um, there's still, I think, about 20 spots left. I think about 20 or 25, something like that. Uh, I had a couple people um, who have already entered and things like that. So definitely check that out. Uh, it's... <clears throat> Excuse me. It's basically a potential, an easy potential way to win a really nice mask that normally I would charge anywhere from about a hundred to three hundred dollars. You could potentially win one for five bucks. So you enter, you know, send me the money, put your name on a ticket, that sort of thing. Uh, of course, I'll draw the tickets and all that stuff um, on a later date. I've still got about three to three and a half weeks left before I take it down. Um, and if I see that there's enough, you know, demand for it, I may even up the spots, but that'll all just depend. And of course, uh, the length of the time that it does stay open will depend on the activity that it gets. But as far as Random Mask Monday goes, this again is my Joel Silva, uh, Jay Weinberg replica mask. Uh, it is the best out there. His second sculpt is even more phenomenal. Um, it's, it's better than this one, if you can honestly believe that, it really is, so go, uh, go check him out, like I said, I don't think that he's got a mask page, um, but I'm not 100% sure, uh, so, you know, don't spam his messages or anything, but, you know, it's worked great, so maybe, maybe one day he'll get him a big page set up to start selling this stuff, because I love mine, um, I've worn this thing quite a quite a bit if it was off the mannequin there's actually a bunch of face paint like in and around the eyes in and around the mouth and then of course where my neck and stuff sits and then there's burlap actually coming off that's <laughs> but that's using you know I use mine a little bit more than most people still holds up though good quality very 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 good quality 
But I think that's going to be it, guys. I uh, got you guys updated on the raffle on my Instagram page. Showed you guys this week's random mask for Monday. Um, see my awesome old business cards in the back. So, yeah, stay tuned for more. Um, I got a bunch of cool stuff coming up uh, short or soon. It'll be towards the beginning of the year because uh, I am just trying to get through Christmas and get Christmas orders and things out so that way I can start taking on new orders. Um, of course, my Etsy uh, Etsy shop will be listed in the description below if you guys want to check that out. Um, if you don't want to do the raffle, because I know a lot of people, you know, they don't really, they don't mind paying, you know, they don't mind, you know, or they don't want to wait, you know, that sort of thing. So, that will be linked, my Facebook will be linked, and my Instagram will be linked. So, I guess that's going to be it for this week's episode, um, if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel for more content such as this. Um, I'll be doing, like I said, a bunch more stuff towards the beginning of the year. And then around March and April, we are back to festival season. So there will be a lot of the bigger the bigger videos, uh, the compilations of pictures that I've taken with people, and all the crazy shenanigans that go on before the festivals. So leave a like comment if you want to you know if you have any kind of suggestions for videos and things like that because i do want to start bringing you guys more videos um i just don't really know what to do and i don't just kind of want to throw you know 30 minute videos at you every single week uh, i think the little you know eight and nine minute videos are pretty good so i kind of want to keep that you know keep that going um but i do want to do more than just the random mask videos so if you guys have any kind of suggestions feel free to comment down below um, I'll get to you as quickly as I can, and as always, we'll see you in the next one.